Hello, it's me. I've made a dialogue system that is, I find easier to use than Yar, and it took me like maybe half an hour to make this. Between 10 and 20 minutes, I think, actually, yeah. And it's pretty simple. So it's this text object right here. We're just going to change it without using the arm at all. And gonna scroll it. So I'm gonna first explain the text, or not text, code. And then I'll show you. So here at the beginning, at the beginning of the scene, I'll uh, restart a timer I've called scroll. And I'll change the text to absolutely nothing. Right? And if the timer scroll is or is greater than this many seconds and the text of the dialogue is not the same as the arch variable text now you need, you need this text right here because this is what decides what it should say also this is just a placeholder text I made I'll show you how you can change the text in a sec even though the placeholder text is this and you need the text portion as well for one of the, uh, or for this code here to work, which is adding one part of the text, so the text portion. So, uh, if I if I go to dialog modify text, and you see this called sub str. If I type sub str, you see the string. So what do I want to type? You know, that's the dialog variable text, which is the placeholder text I have right now. And the number, start position of the portion. First letter is at position 0. So it will check which letter I want, then I'll add it to the text. And after that... Oh, by the way, uh, this... Hold on. It's also the length of the portions. So I only want one character if you want the whole word. I'm not sure how to do that because I haven't gotten into it. I just want like something like you know those old 90s RPGs, you know. Um, that's what this does. And here it just adds one to the text portion. So after I've done text zero, it goes to text or the after I've done typed in character 0, it goes to character 1, and then like that. And then I just reset the timer scroll, and then this repeats itself. It looks like this. And to change the text, I'll go here in the add action. I'll go into the dialog object, and I'll scroll down to the uh, change text variable, text. Set it to, and I'm gonna do Beep. Boop. Look, beep boop. So that's how you can make some pretty simple dialogue. I'm going to use this for my games. And I hope you find this useful. And so, uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Uh, goodbye.